Greetings, my dear viewers. Uh, it's a joy to be able to touch base with you on this platform, Sitam Church Online. My name is Charles Obara, Senior Pastor at Sitam Valley Road. And today, we want to continue the same discussion we've been having for the last several weeks. Today, I'll be discussing about yet another way in which God guides his children, and that is through godly counsel. The wise man Solomon said, in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. In other words, don't be a lone ranger. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Don't make solo decisions. <laughs> Sometimes when you're confronted with key decisions to make, Pray about it, seek the face of God, but having prayed and sought the face of God and having had a conviction about the direction you should be taking, now submit that to the counsel of godly men and women around your life. Your pastor, the church elders, or even friends who have been older in the ministry or who have worked with the Lord longer than you are so that they can also be able to advise you. I believe if we did that, we will actually avoid a number of pitfalls that we fall into in the course of making decisions. I remember a time after going through my undergraduate studies totally in a different field, and I began sensing the call of God in my life for ministry. That was a tough decision to make. You see, it was not a, a fashionable thing to do, especially if you've already had a profession and, uh, and to tell anyone or especially your family members that you're training and you're thinking about going to ministry, that was not going to be received with the smiles and excitement. But I remember I prayed about it. I even fasted about it. When I felt the need and the direction God was leading me into, I had to go and talk to my pastor. I remember walking into my senior pastor's office and just shutting out my heart and telling him, this is what I sense, I battled with this conviction in my heart and you know, what do you have to say? And he prayed with me and he encouraged me and he told me, go now and train for ministry. If you want to be successful in ministry, don't just dive into it quickly. Go and be prepared, get the necessary training and equipping that happens in seminaries and in Bible schools so that you can be ready for ministry. I'm ever grateful for that counsel that I received from my senior pastor. I want to pause and ask you, are you a lone ranger? Do you play your cards close to your chest? Or do you have people you confide with, men and women of integrity, men and women of God, who have walked in this journey longer and older than you have? I want to challenge you, when you are about to make key decisions that can affect your life, that can affect your future, that can affect your family, Submit the same to a godly counsel. As a wise man said, in the multitude of counselors, things don't go wrong. So be open. Share with people you look up to in life and in ministry. They'll be able to pray with you, lead you, and guide you. But remember, godly counsel does not substitute the place for you hearing the voice of God. A godly counsel only comes to confirm and give some general guidance in as far as the will of God is concerned. At the end of the day, you need to hear from God for yourself. The place for prayer, the place for study, and the place on waiting on God cannot be substituted by godly counsel. Godly counsel only comes to confirm what already God is speaking to you. So my prayer for you and my advice to you today is if you are about to make decisions, you are at the crossroad of life, you have many things in your mind that you need to sort out, you need to know the will of God and know the direction to take, pray about it, wait upon God, but also subject that to the counsel of godly men and women of God. Amen. I just want to pray for you that God will help you and bring in your life and in your way men of integrity, women of integrity, seasoned men and women of God who have worked with God longer, who can be able to hold your hand and be able to advise you, to help you and to lead you in the way that you should go. Lord, we thank you and we praise you that you bring our way men and women of God. 
men and women who have been in the ministry longer, men and women who have walked with you longer, who can hold our hands and be able to speak into our lives and, and guide us, oh God, and give us advice on which way to take, Lord. So I pray for my dear viewers, oh God, those who may need to be guided of you, who may be at the crossroad of life. Some are about to make key decisions in their lives that God, they'll be able to reach out and be open, oh God, about the situation they are in, oh God, and seek counsel from men and women of God and, uh, and be guided uh, in the direction that you want them to go, dear Lord. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord abundantly bless you. I pray that God will bring your way men and women of God who can be able to guide you and be, in, be able to encourage you so that you make decisions that are in line with the will and the purpose of God for your life. The Lord bless you so abundantly. Please get in touch with us through the contacts at the bottom of your screen. God bless you. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Amen. Amen.